All right, in this example, we're going to prove that a point lies on the circle. And we need to talk about circles for a moment and just what that means. Here I've graphed the circle that's described in the situation. Uh, but you wouldn't need to graph it to solve the problem. I just wanted to graph it so that we can talk about uh, the circle in some ways that you may not have thought about before. Um, first off, we know what is a circle. Well, basically a circle is ba all the points equidistant from the center point, in this case, negative 3, negative 3. So, and if you've ever used a compass to draw a circle, that's exactly what you've done. You've created that distance using the compass. If we put one needle here and one needle here, and then we rotate that around that center point, the distance to every other point on the circle from that center piece is going to be six units. Okay, So that's basically what a circle is. So in order to prove that a point is on the circle, we just have to uh, use the distance formula and determine that the distance between the two points is equal to the radius. So we know that the distance formula is the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1, all in parentheses, squared, plus, the square, uh, plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1, all squared. So just plugging in the values for these two coordinates, we find that x sub 2 is negative 3, x sub 1 is 1, and y sub 2 is negative 3. And y sub 2 is negative 3 plus the square root of 20. All squared. OK, I'm going to pull this outside for just a moment. Um, because I always teach my students, because it saves you from making critical errors, is any time you have subtraction, I strongly recommend converting it to addition and changing the sign of the next value. So for example, the negative 3 minus 1, I would convert that to negative 3 plus negative 1. You probably could have done negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4 pretty easily without doing that. But it becomes important for things like we have in the second parentheses, negative 3 plus negative parentheses negative 3 plus 20. I'm sorry, plus the square root of 20. And when we look at this negative in front of the parentheses, that's just like multiplying by negative 1 through the parentheses. And using the distributive property, we have negative 3 plus negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. And negative 1 times the square root of 20 is negative the square root of 20. And in this situation, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. And we're just left with 0 plus the negative square root of 20, or negative square root 20. So on our distance formula, we now have negative 4 squared plus negative the square root of 20. Squared. Negative 4 squared is positive 16. And negative 20 squared, or sorry, negative square root of 20 squared, the square root of 20 squared would be 20, and negative times a negative make that a positive. And we get the square root of 36, and it does indeed equal 6 units. Therefore, we know that the coordinate one, negative three, 
plus the square root of 20 is on the circle. Because that unit or that coordinate is six units away from the center. And now we have proven that the coordinate 1, negative 3, plus the square root of 20 is on the circle that has a center at negative 3, negative 3, and a radius of 6 units.